1879, Constantine Falberg, a chemist working at Johns Hopkins University, made a remarkable discovery that would forever change how we sweeten our foods. After a day of experimenting with coal tar derivatives, Falberg noticed an intensely sweet taste on his fingers during dinner, despite having washed his hands. Rushing back to his lab, he tasted each chemical he had worked with until he identified the compound that would later be named saccharin, 300 times sweeter than sugar and with zero calories. By the early 1900s, saccharin was being commercially produced on, but it wasn't until World War I sugar shortages that it gained widespread popularity. The 1950s brought the introduction of Sweet and Low, a saccharin-based sweetener in its iconic pink packets, targeting weight-conscious consumers during America's dieting boom. In 1960, chemist James Schlatter accidentally discovered aspartame while working on an anti-ulcer drug when he licked his finger to turn a page and noticed an intense sweetness. Aspartame, marketed as NutraSweet and Equal, revolutionized the diet industry in the 1980s, appearing in everything from soft drinks to chewing gum and cereal. The 1990s saw the development of Sucralose Splenda, discovered when a researcher misunderstood a request to test a compound as a request to taste it, finding it unexpectedly sweet. Today's market offers dozens of artificial sweeteners from synthetic options to plant-derived alternatives like stevia and monk fruit, catering to various dietary needs and preferences. What began as Falberg's fortunate accident has evolved into a multi-billion dollar industry. Though the story of artificial sweeteners reminds us that sometimes the greatest scientific discoveries happen by chance rather than design.